Now, they say that this graph of y equals to modulus x minus c okay, passes through the point 1, 3. Okay. Looking at what or part i, we need to find the possible values of the constant c. Now, this can be done by substituting values of x and y from here into the equation. So let's do part 1 first. We know that the equation is y equals to modulus x minus c. And uh, when x equals to 1, y equals to 3. So let's substitute these values into the equation. We'll get 3 equals to 1 minus c. And we know that to solve this, we have two different equations. First one is 1 minus c equals to 3 or 1 minus c equals to negative 3. Okay, solving this, c equals to negative 2 or c equals to 4. And these will be the two possible values of c. Now let's look at part 2. For the negative value of c, we need to sketch this graph. Okay, mm -hmm. So the negative value of c is negative 2. We're going to substitute this into the equation. y equals to x minus c. And be careful with this one because there's a minus here. So this becomes y equals to x minus, that's minus 2. Okay, and this will result in y equals to x plus 2. So what we're going to do now is we are going to sketch the modulus of x plus 2. Now again, this is just a straight line. Okay, let's draw the x and y axis. It's 0 here. Okay, this is a straight line with a positive gradient passing through okay and it cuts the x-axis at negative 2 okay this will be y equals to x plus 2 okay so what we do is we take all those negative portions of the straight line and then reflect it upwards like that okay and then this is y equals to x plus 2, modulus of x plus 2, and we change this into a dashed line, okay, and this is the graph of y equals to modulus x plus 2. And finally, for part b, find the points where the graph meets the axis. It meets the axis at here, it meets the x-axis at here, and the y-axis over here, and therefore, it meets the axis at it's uh, negative 2 0 and 0 2